In just the last few months, James Webb Space Telescope has already made a lot of incredible discoveries. And today we're going to be discussing yet another one that once again, currently, does not make a lot of sense. A discovery of a distant galaxy in the early universe that possesses a feature that is normally believed to exist only in much older galaxies. A distant galaxy containing a galactic bar. Something that previous theories suggested should not exist so early, yet the new observations from the James Webb suggest otherwise. And so, hello info person, this is Anton, let's discuss this unusual barred galaxy that was recently discovered, talk about what's probably happening here, but also discuss these unusual barred features and what they actually mean for galactic formation and galactic evolution. And also obviously discuss if this means that, once again, something is broken with our physical understanding of the universe or if there's some kind of a much simpler explanation. And now let's actually begin with what exactly these features are. And based on a lot of observations and statistical analysis of galaxies near us, today we know that most bars seem to form inside spiral galaxies. As a matter of fact, up to two-thirds of all spiral galaxies seem to contain a bar. And that, of course, includes our own galaxy, the Milky Way. And today it's generally understood that a galactic bar represents a kind of a maturation period. And so it's a sign that the galaxy has reached full maturity and has not experienced major collisions or major interruptions for a very long time. And this becomes particularly apparent if looking at much more distant galaxies, especially the ones billions of light years away. A lot of distant redshifted galaxies that appear spiral will actually very rarely contain a galactic bar. As a matter of fact, only 20% of distant galaxies contain one, compared to about 70% of the ones near us. Implying, of course, that it's something that seems to develop with time and something that becomes very common in the much older universe or basically relatively close to us. And today we know that this is directly relates to the way galaxies evolved based on various statistical observations. Galactic bars have now been described as several different types, from the most developed ones to ones that are barely visible at all or are still developing as the galaxy is stabilizing its shape. With some galaxies, such as this lenticular galaxy, NGC 2787, sort of serving as a kind of a first step in this evolution. Here there are no spiral arms and the galactic bar is still really tiny, still growing in size. But I guess one important question is, how exactly does all of this form? Well, based on various simulations, which I'll show you right now, we know that all of this occurs naturally as a density wave moving away from the center starts to affect the orbits of different stars close to it. And so it's actually directly connected to the natural instability of a stellar disk and is also a way for the galaxy to transfer some of its angular momentum into something a little bit more stable. But we also know that these are not permanent objects. They can actually exist for up to 2 billion years, but will eventually dissolve, very likely regenerating again sometimes later. With this oscillation cycle from a spiral galaxy to barred spiral galaxy and back to spiral galaxy, very likely happening many, many times in most galaxies like the Milky Way. And at the same time, they also have a major effect on the galaxy itself, especially the center. They seem to funnel a lot of gas located in the spiral arms toward the galactic center, very likely fueling a major starburst activity and a lot of star formation that we know exists in the Milky Way as well. You can learn more about this in one of the videos about the Milky Way in the description. Which is also why quite a lot of very beautiful spiral galaxies, such as M83 or the Southern Pinwheel Galaxy, tend to actually have active galactic nuclei right in the center. All of this gas, funneled by the bar, ends up powering the central black hole. Although here I guess a small side note, even though the Milky Way has a bar as well, it's unclear why the central black hole in our galaxy is quite timid in comparison and is also not very massive at all. These black holes are way, way more massive and also obviously more active. But either way, when it comes to these galactic bars, it was previously expected that all of this very likely takes at least a few billion years. So basically to form the first galactic bar, the galaxy would have to stabilize for at least a few billion years, very likely only appearing 8 billion years ago. But the recent discoveries from the James Webb Space Telescope suggest otherwise. Here we have a galaxy known as Sears 2112 that existed 11 and a half billion years ago, or basically when the universe was only 2 billion years old. And though obviously the observations here are somewhat limited and don't even show us a spiral galaxy, 
they do show us some kind of a thickened bar through the center of some sort of a galaxy, with the assumption being that this is maybe, probably, most likely, a spiral galaxy, with the shape also suggesting that it's quite developed for its age. As a matter of fact, all ancient galaxies containing bars are pretty much always spiral, and so this galaxy is also most likely spiral as well, we just don't see the shape because it's kind of far away. And all of this implies that galaxies once again matured much much faster than we believed, and galactic bars very likely formed much quicker as well. Or maybe it means that the universe is older, much older. But that's unlikely and I'll explain to you in a second why. In terms of this bar though, because we know bars exert so much influence on various galaxies, this is a really important discovery. As a matter of fact, the scientists behind this paper currently suggest that this is exactly what the Milky Way looked like approximately 11.5 billion years ago. Here they suggest that this is a progenitor to the Milky Way-like galaxy, because the structure, the mass, and even to some extent the shape, represents what the scientists always believed Milky Way potentially looked like when it was just forming in the beginning, with the only difference being that it also has the bar. And this suggests that bars potentially only take a few hundred million years to form, not a few billion. It also suggests, as this galaxy matures and becomes more developed, it might at some point acquire an active galactic nucleus, thus becoming even more visible from a distance. But because this is a brand new discovery, at this point nobody knows exactly what's happening here, or, more specifically, what this galaxy will become. But does this discovery break the current models of the universe? Well, that's unlikely because of other discoveries, from very similar studies using extremely similar data. And specifically, one of the other discoveries, looking at other massive galaxies far away, that were previously suggested to also break current models. Here this was actually reported a few months ago, from one of the most iconic images, coming from the James Webb. And so here the scientists whose paper you can find in the description, recalculated everything by measuring what's known as the Balmer break, in essence confirming that a lot of these galaxies were much much closer to us, and the assumption that these massive galaxies existed early on was very likely somewhat incorrect. They did exist just much, much later. Moreover, another study from just a few days ago made another incredible discovery of the second and the fourth most distant galaxy ever observed. These galaxies existed when the universe was only 330 million years old, with a redshift of 12 and 13. In terms of the distances here, these are about 33 billion light years away from us with all this located inside the cluster known as Abel 2744, or the Pandora Cluster. And surprisingly, these are actually much larger than previous galaxies discovered so early on, so large as a matter of fact, that they don't just appear as tiny dots, they appear somewhat elongated, with somewhat irregular shapes. Yet, in terms of the actual size, even though these are 6 times larger than previous discoveries, they're only about 2000 light years across at least 50 times smaller than a typical spiral galaxy close to us. So this once again confirms that all of these early discoveries and all of these early galaxies are actually poorly developed, very very small, and are very likely going through some really turbulent development, as expected from current models of physics. No actual giant galaxy has been found in any of the images from the early universe, and so none of these galaxies are giant or massive or in any way unusual at all. Nevertheless though, this is a really exciting discovery because here, these are two galaxies out of approximately 60,000 in this entire image. So yeah, quite a serendipitous discovery. But once again, presenting a mystery in terms of their shape. It's unclear why they're so different and what happened to these galaxies to make them appear the way they appear. But in terms of barred spiral galaxies, and more specifically, what happens inside bars and how they influence galaxies, at the moment, James Webb Space Telescope has been actively trying to figure out all of this by mapping several galaxies close to us. We've discussed some of these images before, but it's a long-term project that's essentially been trying to assess what happens inside these galaxies by trying to look through all of this dust in the middle in order to uncover all of the star formation processes and how all of this is affected by the bar and the structure of the galaxy. These particular studies are still in their infancy and no discoveries have been made just yet, but because of James Webb's ability to see through the dust, it's quite likely that in the next few years we'll have some answers about the bars, how they form, how they influence galaxies, and how they can actually grow so fast when the galaxy is still very young and still developing. 
And so at least for now, it's definitely a really exciting and somewhat unusual discovery and does present us with a new mystery, the mystery of these galactic bars and how they're able to form so quickly, but no actual answers just yet. Only more beautiful pictures, more incredible discoveries and more questions to think about. But we'll definitely come back and talk more about this once there are some updates. On that note, check out some of the previous videos and also previous discoveries by the James Webb in some of the videos in the description. Thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow and as always, bye bye.